This is Ramadan Guides. I am Gazlan. Um, first off, how is fasting? It's 1.17 right now in the PM and I'm just I'm I'm really not the best with this. I really do enjoy my food, I'm not gonna lie. And um especially water. Okay, actually, that's what everyone else says. Everyone else is like um, all I need is water and I'll be good and I'm just like oh I wish I'm starving and I'm thirsty <laughs> what do you think is the hardest part of Ramadan for you is it is it the water or is it the food or is it both let me know send me a message um, on whatsapp at 0155 just let me know how your day is going so far how the first two days of Ramadan have started off and um, or you can Facebook message me. You can leave a comment if you've had any exciting subhur or if you're gonna have a nice start today. Let me know what it is. And up next is I'm gonna be talking about uh, Cairo Show's new, um, well, what they plan Layeli Ramadan. Um, and it look, it honestly sounds like so much fun, so many activities, and a lot to be anticipating. So stay tuned, and I'll let you know why. Um, but yeah, but just let me know first off. I had what did I have for suhoor yesterday? I well, yeah, this is going to sound quite basic. Yesterday I was with Hashem on Ramadan madness, and we were also asking about if anyone has any cool um, suhoor ideas and I was like oh we have to try something new I also had eggs and tuna yesterday and fall so um, I'm not I wasn't <laughs> I really didn't do anything exciting in the end but if you did uh, hopefully uh, let me know also if you did have eggs and fall there's no shame there's no shame we'll be creative another day this is Gaz, and I am back on Ramadan Guides. So, first place, we have to check out. I really want to book my book myself a ticket, and I'm going to make a bunch of my friends and family go too. I'm so excited. I just... Okay, I'll explain to you my struggle of decision when I explain the situation. Okay, so Cairo Show has Ramadan nights, or Layeli Ramadan, and it sounds already like a remarkable like it's going to be a remarkable turnout on monday there was an interview on nagum and we got so many details and i have really really high expectations now and during the interview we were promised that they are planning on exceeding our expectations okay so what is happening in Ramadan nights it there's just going to be lava, live artistic performance, performances throughout the month of Ramadan in the garden of the Marquis Theatre in the Fifth Settlement, Cairo Festival City. Like I said to Jim um, and Murad, I'm really, really happy about this because it's in Tadamma for once. I live in Tadamma. And for some reason, everything is just so far away. You know, like when something's happening, a lot of the time, whenever something's happening, it's happening in this end of the world, you know? And it's just like, oh, why do I have to drive at least half an hour, 45 minutes to just, you know? And now it's in my area. Um, send me a message if you're in Tagamar and you're excited that there's finally something, you know, a big event is happening there. So the Ramadan night evenings in general, they start from 9 p.m. in the evening. And... It's honestly going to include some of the most famous stars in various artistic fields. So we're not actually just sticking to one. Um, each week, you're going to there's going to it's going to have its own artistic character, and the whole place is going to be linked, and the atmosphere as well. There's going to be different themes each week, so you're really going to see that. Like you're going to feel like you're somewhere else each week, I guess. But overall the whole it just sounds so exciting i want to go to all of the themes this is the dilemma that i was telling you about that i can't make a decision is i don't know which theme to choose and to be fair i just think i'm gonna go to all four um i'm gonna let you know what the four themes are um well the first week is maulid week um 
in which there's going to be the famous brides show, the great night, um, the other goes. So it's going to be... It's going to be full of different types of entertainment. There's going to be acrobats as well, magicians, singers... Up next is Defenseless by Louis. <laughs> and I'll be back with the rest of the themes and all the exciting perks. I am back on Ramadan Guides. We're talking about Cairo's show, Layeli Ramadan. So excited. There's going to be so much and ent- so much different types of entertainment, lights, food. It's going to be catered by Zaza. We're going gonna- gonna to have amazing buffets. Literally... So far, there is nothing that I would generally look for if I like if I wanted to just go out in Ramadan, generally have a nice, you know, sit down, sit with my friends or family, see something, eat something. So far, in the early Ramadan, they're literally checking all my boxes. They're checking all my boxes. Um, like I said, so the first week is Maulid week. Second week is Memories, so we're going to go back. Then third week is Folklore, which is really, really interesting. Um, there's going to be so many different folklore groups from Bahri, so Alexandria, to Sharkeya, to Nubia. There's going to be Sesameya and Bambuti songs. Literally, so much, so many options. Fourth week, which I'm really excited for as well. I See, this is the thing, which one do you choose? And I see, I don't think I am going to choose. That's what I had decided. I think I want to go to all four. Um, the fourth week is going to be comedy. So there's going to be um, a theatre, stand-up comedy, there's sketches, some of the brightest stars. And, I mean, what is better than a good laugh? I really do enjoy stand-up comedy. And there isn't as much... I haven't, like attended as much or as many stand-up shows that I would as I'd want to you know I, I see them I watch them a lot of the time it's on YouTube or whatever you know and you're just binge watching but no I'd really love to just, the whole vibe it just sounds so nice I would love to go if I had to babysit like yeah so I do this thing where yeah, if I have to ever take care of my cousins or little kids I try to find things that we can all enjoy, you know. I'm quite easy when it comes to enjoying myself in, like, you know, in the atmosphere if I'm at the right place. So, yeah, I don't mind taking kids to the amusement parks or to parks. Like, Cairo show, I think they would have so much fun whether you have little siblings, whether it's you and your friends, whether you're with your family... Honestly, even if you just want to hang out with people that you don't really want to talk to, realistically, you have all this entertainment, you know, to enjoy regardless. It's a win-win situation. Um, Cairo Show said they're planning on... Well, they're planning on exceeding our expectations, and I really, really think they are. This is Gaz on Ramadan Guides. We're currently checking out Layali Ramadan. Um which is happening in Tugamwa El Khemis. Uh, Tugamwa El Khemis, yeah. Fifth Settlement, Cairo Festival City, the Marquee Theatre. So, Ramadan nights, it will also be broadcast live on Nogum FM every week. So, make sure you tune into that. I'm sure if you want to check it out, there's also videos, uh, Tickets Marche, you can book a ticket now. So, what are you waiting for? Check it out. Um... The most famous stars of the radio will present it um, from Nagum Tem Al Bashir, Jehan Abdullah, Inji Ali, um, Rawan Qadri, Yara Gindi. We're all so excited for it, honestly, and I just really want to go. Uh, in addition to the presence of the director and producer, Magdil Hawari, co founder of Cairo Show. The, okay, my favorite part of the interview um, last week, well, on Monday, with Nagum was okay this is what they said that now because of corona every day people need a reason to leave the house or to make plans which is true I mean I don't know about you but yeah now it's quite harder for me to like at first 
You know, if you were to tell me, oh, okay, let's go do this, call me up, two minutes. I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's do this. Now I am even more lazy. Like, now I'm just like, oh, but I can stay at home and watch, you know, I can watch a series, I can just do this, I can be on the phone, I can play a game. But you just don't want to move, you know? And they said their goal was to give everyone something worth getting up for, which I love. So their goal is to make you want to get up and for it to be worth it, you know, and promising to exceed our expectations, which so far, I really, really do believe. It just sounds like so much fun. Um, what is your favorite part of Ramadan? What do you think? As in, in all of this, um, would you be most interested in the first week, the Mawlid week, the memories? Would you like to go back? Folklore, listen to the songs or comedy, laugh, um, make jokes? Or are you there for the food? Um, I actually don't blame you because Zaza is... Z Zaza Cuisine is one of the most famous names in the field of just cooking and stuff. They're going to be um, giving us or feeding us the whole time there. So I'm, I already want to go try the food too, like... Everything, everything is winning. What is there you don't want to do, you know? And the best part, or one of the best parts, because like I said, I want to go to all four. If you were to go during the Maulid week, while you're there, you can book for the next week. This is Gaz back on Ramadan Guides. We're currently checking out Cairo show and Layali Ramadan. It literally has everything we're asking for in a nice Ramadan it's just, you know, it's a hangout, it's entertainment, whether it's with your kids and family or with friends. Um, the Cairo show announced the names of the artists who performed during the first week's night. So that includes the star uh, Ali Al Hayawi, Hagazi Mutakal, his band, the Hajra Troops, the famous Syrian. Uh, th there's all. Um, Abu Shara, and in addition to the folklore show, the big night show. There's going to be a circus, horse, tabla, uh, there's tanura, there's literally everything, everything, you know, you want. Um, the opening of Ramadan night um, will be the first Thursday, third of Ramadan, which is today. <laughs> so check out Tickets Marche, um, book your tickets. When you're already there, if you um, enjoy it, which I, so far, don't doubt that you will. So, I really, really want... I, I want to go. I already want to go. I don't know why I haven't. I need to figure out who I'm going with. This is always my issue. I always want to do things, and then I just don't know who. And, yeah, every, just life. I mean... Now that everyone's working as well, and because of corona, it is a lot harder. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to go every single week. Okay, so let's hope for my sake, you know, I'm able to do that. Because I don't know, how would I choose? I really want to go to the comedy. I, I can't not go to the comedy part. Um, memories sound so good. The maulid, cotton candy, just everything. Because the acrobats, the magicians, I want to see that too. You know, it's a fight. It's a fight in your own head with which one. Uh, let me know which one stands out the most to you or what you think you really want to attend. Um, on WhatsApp, 0155-955-1042. Don't forget to hashtag Ramadan Guides. Um, or you can leave a comment on Facebook. But yeah, so if you go on the second week, on memories and let's say you enjoy yourself you can book for the third week or the fourth week while you're there so i think that's also cool 